it's a little tricky. What we're going to do now in permutations and combinations is try to figure out which is which. Which one is a permutation and which one is a combination. So we have to read each problem very carefully. So let's look at number one. Remember, permutation order matters. Combinations order doesn't matter. So number one, a, a union must select a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer from 16 available candidates. How many different slates of officers are possible if one candidate is nominated for each office? Okay, so you have to think, does the order matter? Does the position matter? And in this case, could I choose four students to be president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer and take the four students, reorder them, and come up with a new possible slate? And the answer is yes. So this one has to be a permutation. So how would I put it in my calculator? I would do 16 with a permutation of four positions. So let's grab our calculator and do 16 math probability permutation this time. And I'm choosing four positions. And that's 43,680. So this one has 43,680 different ways to choose for the election. Okay, so let's try the next one. A union must select four board members from 16 available candidates. How many different slates are possible? Now this one's different because we just have board members. They're not assigned to a position. So that one is a combination. So I'm gonna do 16, choose four, but this time it's a combination. So let's do 16, math, probability, choose a combination, and choose four. Now, the combination will have less possibilities. It's only got 1,820. And why is that? Because the order didn't matter. The same group of four where they aren't going to be assigned to a position. So that's how come. Okay, so let's look at this one. A space shuttle crew has 10 main dishes available. Let me move the recording for a second. Eight vegetable dishes, 13 desserts, and three appetizers. If the first meal includes two desserts and one item from each of the categories, how many different combinations are possible? Well, this one's actually neat, not a combination or a permutation, but this ends up being the counting principle. So how many events do we have? Well, we have a main dish, we have a vegetable dish, we have desserts, and we have appetizers. Now, how many main dishes? There are 10 choices. We're choosing one. We've got eight vegetable choices. We're choosing eight. 13 dessert choices, but they told us we can choose two desserts. So that means we get to do 13 twice. And we could have double pudding if we wanted to, or double ice cream if we wanted to. And then we have three appetizer choices. So that ended up really adding another event. So instead of really four events, we would have five events on this one. So let's look at our choices. Let's multiply it. We have 10 times 8 times 13 times 13, and then times those three appetizer choices. So we had 40,560 different ways we can order our meal. So that's all the different ways we can do it. Okay. Then we looked at permutations. That's another way to count outcomes. Okay, for a permutation, the order matters. So remember, you have a locker permutation, not a locker combination. And then 
combinations. A combination is when the order of choosing your options, when the order doesn't matter, when you're choosing in a group. So whenever you have a, some choices, the solution group or what you're choosing ends up just being a group where the position does not matter. And that's kind of the summary of this lesson. I hope this lesson on the counting principle, permutations, and combinations was helpful.